for the decontamination chamber and quit. Hello, could you open the door? That's my job, but surely you'll want to know something about Stratland before you continue. Where am I? You are on Stratland's orbital ring an asteroid inhabited by robots before going down to the city. We must check that you aren't a human masquerated as a robot. Human beings are not allowed here, you know. You call your homeworld Scrapland? Yes, we do. In the past, it was a lovely planet that humans overexploited, turned into a junkyard, and abandoned us. Robots reconstructed it from the scraps they left behind. That's why we call it Scrapland. Why don't you allow any human beings here? Are you kidding? A human being is the slimmiest, nastiest, most unpleasant creature a robot. Just the thought of them makes me sick. Pray that you never meet one. I have no more questions. Could you open the door? Sure. Are you people and what have you done to me we're priests guardians of the temple you've just been copied into the great database the great what the great database is a machine that keeps an exact copy of every one of us and if death occurs it brings us back to life you have here a machine capable of resuscitating people Yes, of course we have it. Whenever you need more lives, look for us. We're at your service. May the great algorithm be with you. Full name and references. Name is Detritus Debris. As you should know. Here in Chimera, we don't accept anyone without a job. I must assign you a job now, and I need your references. No job, no entry. Do you understand? I'm afraid I have no references. With no references, you'll have to accept any job available. Now I'll have to go through the hassle looking for it. Toilet steam magnetizer, retroactive cyclotons tester. No, there's none left. Maybe atomic beater. No. The only jobs left are those nobody wants to do. <laughs> Teslators. Proton Essex. Metalony. Video games. Damn. What bad luck. There's only one vacancy for a reporter. Are you interested? Well, I don't know. What does a reporter do? Very little. Pictures and articles for the Chimera paper. Are you interested? Well, all right. I've already entered your personal details. You're expected at the town hall in ten minutes. You have permission to go to the city in the geostationary elevator. Have a nice day. Just a minute. 
What did they do to me when I arrived? Sheer routine. We verified you're not a slimy, viscous creature, and that you haven't been in contact with any of them. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm Berto, your fellow colleague. I was waiting for you. How's it going? Fine. Nice to meet you, Berto. Welcome to Chimera. Come with me, and I'll tell you what your job entails. Okay. Journalism is a risky business. Here in Chimera, people are only interested in death bets. The crazy gambler controls all gaming in Chimera. Most news items are about pursuits, races, combats, everything with many deaths. But when I arrived, they told me something about a great database that resuscitates everybody. There's only one concern here, having enough money to pay the Archbishop so he relieves you every time you die. I don't understand a word. The Great Database keeps an exact copy of every robot in Chimera. If a grand piano were to fall on me now, by paying a small fee, I'd be back in a few hours. Well, who do you pay then, Berto? The Archbishop. He leads an army of bishops who are in charge of taking care of the Great Database in the city's temple. Well, cool. Before going to the office, let's go by my friend Rusty's junkyard. You need a ship, and he can build one for you. Great. I'm just trying my brand new gunship. It'll take me ages to repay the bank, but it's worth it. Look at this beauty. Wow, what a city. Get on and let's go to Rusty's. Hello? Is there anybody home? Hi, Sputnik. Good to see you. Detritus, this is Sputnik, an alien robot from planet C-496. As you know, the inhabitants of that planet are capable of transmitting huge amounts of matter from one point to another. They nearly became extinct when they started transmitting one another all over the universe. <laughs> I had no idea about that. Never mind. Sputnik is very nice and a great mechanic. Hi, Rusty. I was beginning to think you weren't in. This is my new friend, Detritus. How's it going, little one? I have just arrived in Chimera, sir. A lovely city, if you don't mind me saying so. Chimera's a heap of scrap, though I've seen worse. What do you think of scrap? Well, sir... I made myself from scrap, so I must like it. Hmm, what do you think of this guy, Sputnik? Sputnik likes you, and Sputnik's friends are my friends. How can I help you? If you'll excuse me, I have another engagement and I must leave now. Detritus needs a ship, Rusty. Give him a hand, okay? Detritus, I'll call you as soon as I can. Bye!
I need a ship. Use my building machine. You choose the parts and... Okay, thanks. However, I was robbed last week and I have hardly any scrap iron or plans left. You'll also find my emergency gunship. From now on, Sputnik will go with you everywhere. You'll see how useful he is. Thank you very much. Come back whenever you like, but I warn you, if you come here with a stolen ship, I'll turn it into scrap as soon as you park. Don't want any trouble with the police. Don't worry, I understand. To be or not to be, shall rust and oblivion be our inexorable fate at the end of time? Why does my mind shiver as I face this undeniable evidence? If I could only touch eternity for an instant and thus understand. Hi, Detritus. I was waiting for you. I've heard a lot about you since you arrived in Chimera. Pleased to meet you. What's wrong with your eyes? I'm the crazy gambler. I used to bet anything against anyone at any time. But it was exhausting since I was coming and going all day. So I've invented a way to bet without having to move from here. And I want you to try it. I call it the crazy bet. That sounds like a good name. What is it? Crazy bets are little challenges I send to your logbook. For every certain number of crazy bets you win, you'll be entitled to a super crazy bet. That sounds like fun. Now I want you to go outside and destroy two stinky cops with your combat ship. Consider it a test. If you make it, I'll give you the plans to the swarm missiles. Quite an impressive weapon. And when will I be able to do the crazy bets? I'll call you when I have the first three ready. First, I want to see what you're capable of in combat.
Your two targets are marked with yellow arrows. Follow them and shoot them! Once they have been destroyed, ships will release ammo, hull, or money. Pick them up before someone else does. of the swarm missiles. You can now mount this weapon on all your ships. I'll let you know when your crazy bets are ready. Goodbye. You may come whenever you wish to mount your new weapon. Follow the wrench symbol on your radar. Hey, I'm waiting for you at the boss's office. Use the city's tubular transport indicated with the yellow arrow on your radar. indicated with the yellow arrow on your radar. your mission arrow. You can also ask a cop and he'll show you the way.
Hi, Berto. Well, let's introduce you to the boss. Don't worry, he's a nice guy. It's good to see you, Berto. Follow me, please. Don't you dare look at her like that in front of the boss. They're engaged. Come on, let's go. Hi, boss. Here's D. Treatise, the new reporter. Oh, excellent. How are you doing, boy? Where do you come from? Hello, sir. I come from outer space, to be more specific. From outer from space? A... You're so funny. I like that. I guess you're eager to get your first mission. Of course. I'm bored stiff. Here, you'll have no chance to get bored. Go to the warehouse, and Betty will provide you with the camera. Go ahead. I'll meet you at the warehouse. We're short of equipment. There's only one camera left, the one that nobody's ever wanted. So you'll just have to manage with that one, okay? It's a beautiful camera. I love it. I'm happy you like it. Now I must leave. The boss will contact you right away and he'll tell you what to do. Okay. Hey, you! Here, I'm here, right on the table. You can talk. My name's Sebastian. I was very moved with your words about me. People don't usually notice such an old camera. You aren't old. You're vintage. And you're very well preserved. I really like you, and so I'll give you two gifts. Listen carefully. I'm too old now to go out there and take pictures. It's not good for me. Though I'd like to, I can't go with you. Then how shall I take pictures? Just put your finger in here and I'll transfer my photography program to you. There you are. Now you can take pictures. All right. What's the second gift? A great secret. Have you ever heard of the great database? Sure. It's a machine that resuscitates robots. The program I've just passed on to you not only takes pictures, but it's also capable of hacking the GDB and discharging the matrix of any robot. It dumps it on you, and you get that guy's appearance and abilities. Sounds interesting. I'll try it. I'll show you how it works. First, you need some extra energy. You can get it by destroying armed cops and stealing their nuclear batteries. I only have one battery left over there for you. Go get it! <laughs> 